Is there a wrong way to worship God? According to Jesus, yes. He says in John chapter 4, verse 24, we must worship in spirit and truth. Let me explain. In John chapter 4, we read about a woman in Samaria who had questions about worship. To explain what authentic worship is, Jesus said to her in verse 24, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. We can't miss the importance of that little word, must. By including that word, must, Jesus was saying, if you don't worship in spirit and truth, you're not doing it right. You must worship in spirit and truth or you're not worshiping God at all. So there absolutely is a wrong way to worship God, and that is without spirit and truth. But what does that mean? Well, first we need to know what the word worship means. A quick definition of worship is to ascribe worth. However, we can define it better than that. For a better definition, it helps to look at the word worship in the original biblical languages. There are several words in both the Old and New Testament that are translated into our word worship from Hebrew and Greek. The Hebrew words for worship have to do with bowing down to God and allegiance and adoration, both in body and the mind. The Greek words include offering reverence, praise, and service to God due to his character and supreme worthiness. With that said, a good biblical definition of worship must include those ideas. So let's put it together to better define worship. Worship is our demonstration of adoration and devotion to God due to his character and worthiness. With that definition in mind, how then do we worship God in spirit and truth as Jesus says we must? To worship in spirit means that from the very core of our being, our spirit, we so love and desire to honor God that we give him the very best of all we have to offer. The best of our love, our devotion, time, energy, work, voice, and abilities. To worship in truth means we genuinely give God our best based on the truth of who He is. How do we know who God is? Two ways, through natural revelation and special revelation. Natural revelation reveals the truths about God we can learn by observing everything He has created. Special revelation reveals the truths about God we can only learn directly from Him as recorded in the Bible. Let's put it together now. To worship God in spirit and truth is to give God the best of all we have to offer in order to honor and lift up who He is. That is how we must worship. Don't get it wrong. Giving God our voice, our money, our time, our energy while holding back our heart is not worshiping Him in spirit. Giving God our devotion while not accepting the truth of who He is and what He commands is not worshiping Him in truth. The only true way to worship God who is spirit is that we must worship in spirit and truth. And that's today's Bible Munch. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Then share it with others so they can be encouraged too. And God's word is lifted up on social media. If you want more Christ-centered content in your feed, subscribe to Bible Munch and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Well, that's it for me. It's time for you to get into God's word and get munching.